These two. These two we only are doing strictly because they're independents. Well, no, we we're said not, we're doing independents. No, I said that we're, we're doing every FBS team. We're doing all 130 FBS teams. Hey, this is it until we get to the Power Five. Okay. That's a good thing. Look, I, look at it this way. There are fans of UMass and New Mexico I don't State. Mean to, I don't mean to disrespect this. Like, fans. there's fans of it, and they, some of them will watch this video. Hey, I don't know that there are football fans of UMass. I've, I've spent a lot of time in the Northeast in the last year. The, I bet Those are my people. The people they, that watch they, this they, may be like parents Bo- of the Boston, players or something. Boston College, a good football yeah, school College. up there, people still don't watch. Let, let's, you might be going a little strong on the good football school. Like it, Come on now. It, it, Compared to everybody else up there? I mean, you might be right. I don't know. But like, who else are we talking about? Penn State? Like UMass? Oh no, Penn State's not in the Northeast. Okay. All right, a, fine. That is Temple? a Midwestern school. Temple? Maybe? Uh, no, Temple. They care about. It's it, yeah, some, some. No, they didn't when they were losing. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. You get UMass winning, which Mark Whipple did not do. All right, let's talk about New Mexico State first. <laughs> These two teams, they can win three games together. The New Mexico State Aggies. Three and nine last year, seven returning starters on offense, six on defense. Experience number 70 nationally. Doug Martin, 20 and 53 in six years, dropped from seven and six in 2017 to three and nine last year. This year does not look any better. How Doug Martin has his job after six years and going 20 and 53, I have no idea. Uh, Martin is the OC here. The offense was number three in tempo last year. That did not translate because they were number 95 in scoring and number we're, 97 in total offense. We were play fast. Yeah, but maybe just, not good. We're just not really good at it. Um, look, freshman quarterback Josh Adkins, like, obviously he was really inexperienced last year. Well, really had no experience because he was a damn freshman. But, uh, you know, I mean, it, the defense was awful, uh, specifically number 125 in the country against the run. The defensive coordinator, Frank Spaziano, addressed that issue with three Juco linebackers that he brought in, uh, which should help benefit the four returning defensive linemen that they've got. Schedule is nearly impossible. They've only got five home games. Uh, I mean, li- listen to this, okay? Give me the rundown. At Washington State, at Alabama, San Diego State, at New Mexico, Fresno, Liberty, at Central Michigan, at Georgia Southern, at Ole Miss, Incarnate Word, that's a W, UTEP and at Liberty. I got them 111. I got them 111. Like they, they, it's you, a garbage you team. You see what's cool about this is that they play Liberty twice. Like they've, they've set this up a couple of times where they play Liberty at home and then they close at Liberty because these two schools did not have enough. See, at New Mexico State, New Mexico State, right there. So I don't know that I know. How did I not notice that? It's. I think it's happened a couple of years in a row, and it's yeah. But until they, Hugh Freeze got to Liberty, I I could didn't care. care. Less. Yeah, I just like you, uh, North, not New Mexico. But what do you have, New Mexico State? One, one and eleven. Sounds about right. You want to go to UMass? I got them ten and two or two and ten. Sorry, <laughs> ten I have dis- and two. I have dyslexia as well. Uh, uh, let's, yeah, let's close out with this. We'll, we'll no, make it. Have three wins we'll between the two. The UMass Minutemen 